Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Any normal government that tried an experiment to achieve a goal and found out that the, the experiment not only did not achieve, achieve the goal, but actually made the problem it was set out to cure way, way worse, would, of course, stop the experiment and say, well, we tried it, it was a failure, but we've lear learnt lessons. We know that's not what to do. In Scotland, they see that there's a problem. They attempt to correct it. It makes things worse. Not just worse on the problem they're trying to fix, but worse for many, many other things that weren't a problem before. They've created even more problems. And then instead of saying, OK, now we better stop it, they've doubled down on it. Well, now it looks like they're about to triple down on it and make sure that it is an absolute disaster that will increase child poverty, increase the number of deaths of Scots and only increase the profits of supermarkets to boot. Profits that don't even go into the pocket of the Scottish government. They really are morons, but now they're dangerous morons who are actively killing people through a failed policy. What is this policy? Let's take a look. So MSPs urge to increase the minimum unit price of alcohol in Scotland by health experts. That is not to say increase it because you've just increased it. Increase it again. It was 50p. There was a 30% rise to 65p. And now they want to put it back up even further. And yet this policy has been shown time and time again that one, it doesn't work. Two, it increases harm. Three, it increases child poverty. And four, it drives ever increasing numbers into taking harder substances, which in turn five leads to an increased death rate from overdosing on those illicit substances. This is a policy that has failed in every single metric. And then they double down to increase it to 65. And now they're going to triple down and put it up to how much? 85? A pound? And it will only, of course, lead to bootlegging, moonshining. Uh, there will be vans flying up and down across the border, selling uncontrolled, untaxed booze for massive profits to these guys. Massive profits to the, to the bootleggers, of course. Still cheaper than buying it in a supermarket. It's crazy. And yet... And yet, because of the puritanical beliefs of the likes of Nicola Sturgeon and then the Muslim anti-alcohol beliefs of the current leader, you've got a situation where two consecutive leaders of the SNP have been very much for trying to stop people drinking. It's a drinking culture. The Celtic culture is a drinking culture. And these people hate it. But then, what do you expect? They're miserable or they're dry. And yet, in return, what are we seeing? We're seeing alcoholics who will pay this price regardless of what it is. And if that means their children go hungry, then their children go hungry. And you're going to get increased criminality. You're going to get much more use, as I say, of other substances. And yet this SNP government fails to address these issues because in their minds they are virtuous as they're burying ever increasing numbers of young Scots. Dozens of health experts and charities have signed an open letter urging MSPs to vote in favour of hiking the cost of alcohol in Scotland. The Scottish Government announced last month its intention to raise the minimum unit price of booze to 65p and with it increasing child poverty. The joint letter has been sent to the Scottish Parliament's Health Committee as it prepares to report on draft regulations to renew the flagship SNP policy which is aimed at reducing harmful drinking and yet it didn't reduce it when they introduced it. What makes you think it's going to reduce now? MPs must vote by the end of April to pass the regulations, otherwise the policy will end. If voted through, a 12-pack of Tenants Lager will rise from a minimum of £12 to £15.60 and a 70-litre bottle of Famous Grouse will go up to £18.20 from £14. Now, do you think that that margin, £2.50, no, four pound for a bottle of scotch, four pound a bottle for a bottle of scotch, isn't worth someone driving down to 
Carlisle in a big white van, stocking up and driving back up and then flogging it. They can they can sell it for sixteen pounds. Still two pounds cheaper than the shops, and they're making two pound profit. Carver's their petrol and a bit of bit of bush, doesn't it? Sweet. You think people aren't gonna do it? Of course people are gonna do it. And if you put it up even more, people will be doing it even more. Alison Douglas, Chief Exe Executive of Alcohol Focus Scotland, which coordinated the letter, said, We've been delighted to see the support from such a diverse range of organisations across the whole of Scotland and beyond. Yes, people who don't like um, alcohol, let's have a vote on it. If you want democracy, let us vote dem democratically on whether you want to increase child poverty and drug deaths. Because that will be the result of this policy. It was when it was brought in. It will be when it goes up to 65p. And if it goes beyond that, you are going to see terrible, terrible things. It clearly demonstrates that increasing the MUP is not simply a concern to those working in public health, but stretches right across Scottish society and very much reflecting the nature and extent of alcohol-related harm. Most of us know someone or perhaps several people whose lives have been blighted by their own drinking or by that of a loved one. Fine. You've, just, and you've named it there people, individuals who have been blighted. So target the individuals who are blighted rather than punishing the whole of society for whom alcohol is not an issue or a problem. Why would you punish your next door neighbour for your crime? My, my, if my neighbour goes drink driving, I don't lose my licence. If he's an excess drinker, why should I be punished? If you've got the resources, target them at the problem drinkers. Is it just me or does it just seem very, very unfair and morally bankrupt? These people don't have the strength to target individuals. They say, we must punish everyone because a very small number are a problem. Minimum pricing has resulted in tangible benefits to Scotland's health and well-being. They said, however, Scotland is now sitting with the highest drug death rate in Europe. As a result, in part, of increased pricing for alcohol because it's cheaper to go around to the corner boy and get a gram than it is to nip up there and buy a bottle. Hundreds of lives have been saved. No, I don't believe that. Hundreds of lives have been lost. It has helped reduce the burden on our NHS through significantly reducing hospital admissions. Yeah, but only on the booze front, not on the drug front. And have you considered the child poverty cost? No. That isn't what you're concerned with. You're only concerned with making Scotland a dry state for the new Scots. So we hope that all parties will come together, continue and upbraid minimum unit pricing as part of a multifaceted approach to changing Scotland's relationship with alcohol. How dare you? How dare you tell me my relationship with anything? If I, if I drink, it becomes a problem. That's when the problem exists. But until it's a problem, it's none of your business. Wouldn't matter. If you're, if you're anywhere in Scotland, just go south of the border, buy yourself a month's worth of supplies and come back up. Save a fortune. Dr Alistair McGilchrist, Chair of Scottish Health Action and Alcohol Problems, said alcohol harm affects all aspects of Scottish life and health professionals see it amongst patients every day. And how many overdoses are you going to see? How much child malnutrition are you going to see? Because alcoholics are still going to pay for it. As expected, it has been most effective in the most deprived communities who suffer the highest number of deaths and the highest number of alcohol-related hospitalizations. Would it not therefore be better to lift those people out of the desperation that drives them to alcohol in the first place? Rather than saying, yes, your life's shit and the only thing you have to lift yourself out of that shit is alcohol and we're going to stop you from having that alcohol because we want you to thoroughly enjoy the shit. Let us make your lives miserable. Let us give you no relief, nothing. You stay down, we put you. It's a human boot. Sorry, it's a, it's, it's a boot on a human face, isn't it? It's down, down, down. Yes, we've created a shitty place for you to live. We're forcing you to live there and we're not letting you get out at all. Uh, said, I'm pleased to see the MUP receiving such widespread support across Scotland. It's not though, is it? Only amongst the virtuous wankerati. Your average man in the streets thinking, why on earth am I being punished because some other people can't drink properly? Why am I being almost doubling the cost of having a beer just simply because no one in government has the balls to target the problem drinkers directly? 
Uh, to set the rate, they're saying to set the rate any less than 65p would result in lives concentrated in our poorest communities being unnecessarily lost. What, and you don't think that these people in the poor communities are just now going to go off and say, okay, well, I'll take some uh, Coke or MDF or whatever they can get their hands on. Bit of crack away. Because people need to be released from the shittiness that has been caused by Scottish society, by the SNP. Because the SNP aren't going to lift these people out of poverty. Not what they're going to do, is it? It's going to destroy lives. This is absolute. They, they've seen the harm that's done. They pretend that they don't see the harm. They pretend everything is great. Meanwhile, you're burying ever-increasing number of Scots from drug overdoses. But that's a winner in the, S in the SNP. Coming up. These people are puritanical and they're prohibitionists. And we all know prohibition fails because people like to drink. And so what do you get? You're going to get, like I say, the, the people making moonshine and you're going to get the bootleggers. And that's it. And it won't reduce the alcohol problem in Scotland. It will just increase the poverty. Meanwhile, Tesco's and Sainsbury's are going to go <laughs> loving it. More profits. Because it isn't a tax. It's just the minimum unit price that the, you, that the supermarkets have to charge. It's pure profit for the supermarkets. They love it. It's probably them pushing it. Who knows? But where does that tax go? Well, it goes down to Rishi, doesn't it? It goes down to London because it's corporation tax. It goes in Central. It doesn't go to Scotland. So you're moving all this money from the poorest people in Scotland because it's usually the poorest people that drink the most, most like that. So you get the poorest of Scotland having to pay more for booze, which then goes to London, which then doesn't come back, number one. Number two, the ones that can't afford that go and buy the drugs on the corner, boys. Or the ones that sort of have some money, will say, well, the kids don't need to be fed every day. Uh, we just won't feed them one day a week. Glug, 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 glug. And that happens. And it will happen increasingly. The kids won't eat, but daddy will have a drink. Because alcoholism is a terrible thing. And rather than targeting the alcoholics and getting them sorted and getting them off and weaning them away, you're just going to punish everybody. I hope all you SNP supporters who aren't alcoholics, they're just normal people, just like a wee drinky, you know, a wee swally on a Friday night after work. Sit there, look at the price of your pint and go, oh, this is very expensive, isn't it? You keep voting these people in and this is exactly the sort of thing that's going to happen. Well, finish there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well. And I'll speak to you later. Bye.